What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be looking at secret rooms in Fathom. So the first secret room is in red spawn, it's up on the ceiling, you'll see a little grating and there's a little spot that's missing a grating, and you can just head in through there, but you can head into any part of the ceiling, I just chose this one. So just spawn on a teleporter node, make sure to push it up there, and as soon as you've done that, spawn a teleporter node down here, make sure they're on the same channel obviously, and after you've done that, walk in, and uh, now you're in this little cubby area, I'm not exactly sure what you'd call it. Uh, it's a lot bigger than you think, not, you know, super big, but it's it's decently big. There are some invisible barriers, like there's one right here that you can't really go past. And uh, there's one um, on the ceiling, there's a height barrier as well. You can just crouch jump over this little AC looking thing. Uh, yeah, this is like right here, you can't go up there. Uh, but it's just a nice little area, um, good for any spawns you want, might want to make in Forge, or any machinimas you might want to do. And it's just a nice little cubby hole that you can be in. There's also one in blue spawn as well, but it feels slightly bigger only because there's no AC unit in the middle of the room. It's actually replaced by some crates and some cool looking helmets. Uh, none of the crates or helmets are solid, but uh, I'm sure people will find ways to work around that if they want to incorporate it into any machinima or maps. So the next room is in blue spawn as well, but instead of in the ceiling, it's on the floor. You see these curved windows that are looking outside the map, and when you actually look down, you see this little storage area, which uh, is actually really cool to be in. So all you want to do is spawn a teleporter just like last time, push it down to the floor, and then spawn one up here and just walk in. So I actually have trouble getting in the teleporter right here because I placed the other teleporter kind of wrong, so a little difficulty getting in, but once you're in, it's all nice. Uh, none of the things are actually solid in this room, uh, which kind of sucks, but with some clever forging, uh, since you can use the entire forge palette of any other map to uh, forge in any map, uh, I'm sure you can make this thing solid for any type of forging or machinima that you might want to do. Uh, you can see it down here, you can see a cool view of the other map, but uh, don't go too far down because you will die. And it's just a nice storage room that you can use uh, whatever to your heart's desire. Uh, there's a cool little helmet again. Uh, and you should be careful about these stairs over here because they kind of indicate a point of a death barrier if you get too close or you get uh, towards that line right there. So the last and biggest room is just anywhere. Go to any of the windows that are looking outside of Fathom and just spawn a teleporter in. Place it decently far away and as soon as you've done that come back inside and put a teleporter inside. Now you just want to jump right in and now you're outside of the map. This area is a lot bigger than you think it is. Uh, it, you can do a lot of forging or any type of videos you want to do uh, out here. Uh, and if you go too far ahead, you get spawned inside of the map instead of dying. So you want to try to find some good uh, barrier points to put. None of these buildings are actually solid. Uh, neither are all of the creatures, the little whales, things. Uh, but it's all really, really cool. And like I said, you can use the entire forge palette for any of the maps. So you can spawn in a tank or a phaeton or any type of forging out here. So it essentially makes this map into a nice water canvas that you can use. And you should be careful to get uh, not get too close to the map as you will blow up. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm actually glad to be doing secret rooms again because it's something that I started out doing on this channel and I, it's something that I really like to do no matter how stupid it is. Um, and make sure to leave a comment if you like the video. And uh, if there's any rooms that you think I've missed in this map or any rooms in other maps that I should look into. I'll see you guys later.